I've been a professional golfer for about 30, uh, 35 years and uh, I started my company in 1989-90. We started out as a sports apparel and then we got into events. My father was a golfer, is a golfer and he started taking me to the golf course. I played a tournament when I was nine years old and um, I won that tournament. I said, okay, this is what I want to do. Uh, golf has become more and more an aspirational sport uh, with only about you know 400 golf courses and not going up drastically in the country. I mean, you need a hundred acres of land to build a golf course. So, at the Indian domestic industry, golf industry is probably the largest uh, after cricket. Uh, no other sport comes even close. So the potential of uh, this industry growing as an industry is huge. So uh, we would be lucky if we can double the number of golfers in India in the next five years. The first thing in the sports industry is you've got to be punctual. Uh, you cannot miss your deadlines, you cannot come late to work. Two is we don't have overtimes and uh, you know, you've got to be working for the number of hours that the event calls for. Your communication skills has to be exceptional because if you don't speak well, you don't communicate well, uh, you're going to have a tough time. Uh, marketing uh, in sports is very, very tough because it's very tough to sell an event, a sports event. And, and you have all the top ex-athletes, uh, you know, you have Daniel Kumbles and the Mahindra Singh Dhonis, uh, the Leander Pays, these people who have, who have their own companies and they are the ones who are doing events. So to compete with them, you have to be really good and you have to know your subject. So it's very tough to break into the sports industry. So if you have these qualities, then the sky's the limit.